I think we're going to be seeing a lot of those stories this Christmas, a lot of families getting together. Now, if people are getting together here in Tucson, uh, you might want to stay inside tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. There's going to be times to get outside of over course, the next couple of days. Yeah. It's just not going to be Christmas Eve. I think tomorrow morning will be fine. Christmas Day should be okay. For the most part, there's still going to be some smaller rain chances out there. What's going to cause those rain chances, though, is going to be a low pressure center that's currently causing a lot of rain over there in California. That's going to slowly shift closer towards our area here and bring us those better rain chances. So what you're looking at here is this low to eventually make its way right over Phoenix. That's going to bring them a ton of rain, but notice how close that high pressure center is. Whenever you see those two letters very close together, we tend to see some very strong winds in between them and Tucson is going to be right there in the middle. So we could see those wind gusts as high as 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour in Tucson itself. And those higher elevations actually have a wind advisory in effect. Santa Cruz County, it's going to be all of you. Same thing with Cochise County and those higher elevations, of course, in Pima County are going to be impacted as well. Now let's go ahead and break down what you can expect for your Christmas Eve. I do think the morning is going to be OK, as we were talking about just a second ago. We are going to see those gusts maybe as high as 50 miles per hour by lunchtime and in the early part of the afternoon. Now, as you start to get your way in the middle of the afternoon, that's when the rain is projected to move into our area and you're going to have the strongest winds just before the rain gets there. And the rain's not going to come in lightly. I think it's going to be pretty heavy right off the bat and last for a couple hours after that, maybe even with some pretty good rain totals. And as you get into the evening around six or seven o'clock, that's when the rain will start to taper off. We'll have isolated to scattered showers throughout Christmas as well. Let's get into these winds and talk about the values you can be expecting out there and keep an eye on that time in the upper corner. So this is going to be by two o'clock. This is when I think the strongest winds are going to be there all across southern Arizona. So you can have Tucson in between 35 and 40. Nogales as high as 50. Sierra Vista maybe even as high as 60. I'd go ahead and throw Bisbee in there as well. The reason why is all because of elevation. And again, that's all going to be there before the rain gets there. So I do think Phoenix is going to be seeing a ton of rain in the morning. So if you're going to be driving up there on Christmas Eve, that's just something to keep in mind. And I do think for Tucson, the rain will be getting here in the early afternoon. One to two o'clock is going to be your first chance of rain. Your best chance to see that real heavy rain move in between about three and five. I think spots like Safford and Wilcox likely to see the heaviest rain out there. But values for just about everyone are going to be ranging in between about a tenth of an inch of rain, maybe as high as a full inch during that period. I think on average about a quarter of an inch of rain is going to be possible again with a few isolated spots may be getting that much. All right, so here over the next few days, we are going to begin to see some changes when it comes to those temperatures too. So we had 80 for a high today, 74 tomorrow. It's not because that front's going to be passing us by early enough or anything like that. Instead, it's going to be all the clouds moving in overnight and that rain keeping us just a tad bit cooler. We are going to see influence from a front next week, which is why we're going to be down to the 50s. That's going to be a whole separate other rain chance we'll cover in the coming days. But keep in mind tomorrow, lots of rain during in the afternoon and I'm expecting Saturday Christmas Day to see 67 Priscilla for that high temperature 30% chance of rain with most of that coming in the earlier part of the day. All right, we just have to get through tomorrow and all that rain and the nice temperatures the rest of the week. Thank Absolutely you. feeling a lot more like winter at that point. Yes, so, yeah. yes. All right. Thank you, Daniel.